Today we're going to find out what a pro mechanic and bike shop man, Nick, thinks of L2. L2 RX, the hydraulic group set from AliExpress that we bought recently. We're going to put it on a bike, he's going to build it up and give us his thoughts. Please can we invest in some bikes with non-integrated bars for these like wild ideas you come up with. Sounds like a you problem, Nick. The bike we're using is my Addict Gravel Tune from last year. It's currently got GRX on it, so we're stripping all of that off, putting all the L2 on, using a few of the parts that are still on there, like the crank set, cassette and chain, and hopefully we'll have a bike at the end, which is rideable. We're putting some different tires on, the new Tundras from Hutchinson. These are 40 millimeter. So skinnier than the ones that I have on my other gravel bike, but the place that I'm gonna ride this bike first is not going to be mega muddy. We can go with these. But why is it taking so long for the air to come out? Close up the ceiling. So a quick recap of what this is. This is a Chinese company called L2. We pronounce it L2 because it's spelled L2. You can buy this for about 300 pounds on AliExpress. It's 12 speed, looks like carbon, has a front mech, and a rear mech with a long cage, and it weighs about the same as Shimano 105. This is the first group set from a Chinese manufacturer that has hydraulic brakes. And that's the bit we're interested to test. It looks nice. I'm happy with that. It looks really nice, actually. Well, the brake calipers, but everything's a bit strange. It's like post mount calipers, but not post mount. Don't think your fork's gonna work. Paint's already chipping off this brake caliper, which isn't very confidence inspiring. We build so many bikes with SRAM that that looks absolutely mental. Bike looks like a BT telephone box. Oh. BT, if you need to employ me, I'm free after this week because I'm leaving the cycling industry. I'm done with this shit. You know, Germans have got a word for that cable salad. Cable salad. Cable salad. Yeah. Unwind, relax, breathe, and <laughs> sleep. Working on my hypnosis for a while and uh, have got a zero success rate. Nah, it's not yours. It's yeah. Papa John's. Keep your hands off my pizza. It's just the actual olives are just so mega tight over the hose. And Even those are the barb olives not all you came with. Yeah, yeah. And we've got an olive over the hose and there's a barb that goes inside. We stick that into the caliper, tighten that thread on, and then it crushes that onto the outside of the hose to make a seal in between the lever and the hose. So it just makes it airtight. So your hydraulic fluid goes through the hose and not out the outside. But generally, Shimano ones go over fairly easy. Clamp bag the same. Uh, Shram's one that actually screws onto it. This one's just tight. So I need to get it a couple of more back so that when we tighten it on, it will screw it back onto the way it's supposed to be. So ultimately, this is how the hydraulic brakes stay correctly Aligned. pressurized yeah. and fluid in them and not leaking out. Yeah. Okay, so I'd say that's probably quite important. Well, being tight, well, I don't know, it's not really a bad thing. Multiple shifts. How many gears can you shift at once? One, two, three. 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 And down, it's gonna be... Four. Four down, three up. Yeah, it's really comfortable with shift levers. Really comfortable in the drop. So here is something to note. The shifters on this bike do have a button here on the inside, but it's easy to reach, unlike the Tony ones, which we featured in the video the other day, which has a button on the inside you can't reach properly. So here, you can still shift when you're on the drops. It's actually really comfortable. It's very nice. Feels very it's good. really nice actually. <laughs> They've ripped off Campag's new e-car kind of. It's a different shape, but it's the same positioning. And I think the tops feel like shroud. Yeah, like that, that shape. Just, that's shroud. It does feel very nice, doesn't it? I yeah. think what's really interesting about this paddle is it's got two positions. So obviously when you're on the drops, it's you, you've got this big long bit that you can easily reach. And then when you're up here, you don't want to be going all the way down there. So you've got that higher bit. That's it's actually, it's such actually, a simple solution to a, a big problem. It's a very, what very good design. That is what Campag started doing with the new e-car group set. Mm. So the, the paddle's like, there's like a little loop. So the top's are different bits of the bottom. Well, yeah, similar to that actually. I have to say, I used to ride Campag a while back and I really like the little thumb shift thumb thumb. bit. Yeah. For me, if you're sprinting, you've got a much stronger grip and you can still get your thumb off. Where if you're holding on like that, grip-wise, and you have to let go fingers to shift other gears, 
you've got no strength over there. So it is a much more stable for sprinting. The other thing as well is that sprinting. Who the hell is sprinting? We'll try and keep it with you two. <laughs> By you two, I mean Francis. <laughs> like the finish on some of this stuff looks a bit cheap, but then obviously it's not an expensive group set. But these guys have literally gone out and stolen the best from every single group set. Mineral oil, Shimano starts with that. Levers over there, SRAM, because it's the most comfortable one and the shape. The hood's similar to SRAM. The drops, Kampag. Then they've done double cable outer routing for Kampag. So that over there just means that, not on your bike, but most other bikes, you can route the cables on both sides. So if you had round bars, you can make it like a little bit of a flat top with a bar tape. They've then taken a really good SRAM idea, which I wish Shimano was start doing, where the actual hydraulic hose fitting can come out. So it's just easier to work on and move around instead of it just being in a set place. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually bizarrely quite impressed. I think the finish is really good. No. Well, the paint came off the caliper. Yeah. Oh, did it? Yeah. This front mic looks different to anything else I've ever seen. Is this an electronic only frame set that we're building mechanical? Possibly. Is it possible? So Shimano actually does the same thing now. Their new front mics. You've got a cable stop in the front mech, but you're not bringing a Kampag or SRAM mechanical. Yeah, but that, this hole surely makes sense for DI2. Yes. DI2 front mech, not a no. mechanical one, because exactly. normally it would root out of here. So yeah. I've got a feeling this is actually an electronic only frame set that we are building up mechanical. Yeah, because we did squeeze that through that hole. Chain ring we're putting on the bike is this Senix, also from AliExpress. It's been on one of my other bikes until recently, but we thought we'd take it off and just make a, as much of this group set AliExpress as possible. It's served me well so far, 12 speed, and we're going with the 12 speed chain that was on that other bike as well. The old foil. Wheels manufacturing. The holes haven't been drilled straight on this. It doesn't line up properly. Definitely not recommended, but we're gonna have to dremel the holes bigger because they're, they're too narrow. So the bolts, like, you can put one bolt in, but the other bolt goes skew. Or I can take that bolt on this one will fit, and then that one won't fit. But I can't make both of them fit. Thanks to Papa Cade for our Joined, Christmas present, buzzing. Look at that, man. The shift. Kind of. These are have unbelievable breakpoint adjustment. It's a good group set. My only concern with it is that there's it's just small things like. It's really worrying that the brakes weren't drilled the right spacing. We've had to dremel them out, so that's a definite no-no. Could never solve that. The shifting works, but it's never ever try and compare it to one of the three big main ones in terms of how crisp their shifting is. With this, like you have to slightly overshift the lever for it to work. It's close. It's worrying. Like if they can get it right, they'll give the big ones a run for their money. But at the moment, this still off. The front makes it's just really like cheaply made. There could, with a bit of testing of these brakes, there could be an argument for using this as shifters and brakes, but upgrading the mechs to 105. Yeah, but would they work? Uh, it's not cross uh, this, It's either going to be the same pull ratio as SRAM or Shimano 12 speed. Or Kampag, seeing mm -hmm. that the leaves have copied Kampag, and I'm pretty sure this Kampag's royal blood is the fluid that came out of there, because it's red. Do you even get 12 speed Shimano mechanical? No. No. No, uh, no, it's gonna be Kampag that they've copied, I reckon. You need to get one of their cassettes, like we've mixed and matched stuff, so the shifting might be better with the Kampag cassette. That's the 12 speed cassette that comes with an L2 group set. The old L2 though. L2. So. Yeah. So that's what I mean, this Has is completely changed? different to that. Yeah, different. The old one is a complete tram system. Apart from all of that, the brakes not being drilled properly is a massive red flag. If we just compare this to Chinese group sets, previously the best option has been a mechanical disc brake, which was fairly crap. As a hydraulic brake Chinese brand group set, like this is phenomenal. Like it, it is like proper high oh, yeah. quality hydro brakes. How much does it sell for? Uh, we paid 300 pounds. Of course the prices are gonna fluctuate though. People were posting in the comment section of a video we did the other day that you can get 105 on Wiggle for like 450 pounds and with that group set you got chain cassette rotors the whole shebang so actually it makes it about the same price as this but uh, it's, it's not, not always going to be that price if you look at rrps this might not always be 300 pounds it's probably going to go down in price when the demand is reduced once we get it set up properly actually ride it i don't i'm still i'm still optimistic that it's that it's a really good group set after francis dies because the rear brake falls off 
We'll reassess the value. Let's also not forget that Nick is a massive bike snob and refuses to ride anything that's less than ten thousand pounds. <laughs> See, I don't know if it is comfortable, you know. The levers. It does work. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna ride it for the next couple of weeks. The levers felt nicer when we were working on it in the stand. Now they're a bit like, oh, they're not quite ergonomically perfect. Being able to shift three gears at once with your thumb is cool. The chain we've got on here is slightly too short, so it could improve very slightly when we get the right size chain on there. I'll put a brand new chain on, which is over at the shop. Like I said, more exploring to do on this group set, so subscribe for more if you want to find out what the first ride is like. Let us know if you have any questions about it in the comment section down below. All of the build process went pretty smoothly, nothing went wrong, and to be honest, we were quite pleasantly surprised with it. Thank you for watching, and see you guys soon.